Now finally, the last two sections of the standard include requirements related to the construction and startup of the ventilation system, as well as its operation and maintenance. For today's program, I'm just going to sum summarize some of the key requirements from these sections. During construction activity, Section 7 states that the ventilation system shall not be operated without its filter in place. And it requires you to protect building materials from rain and moisture, reduce migration of construction generated contaminants into occupied areas, and construct ductwork per SMACNA and NFPA standards. Then, when the system is being started up, the standard requires air balancing and testing the function of outdoor air dampers, as well as testing drain pans to ensure they properly drain condensate. Section 8 then addresses operation and maintenance. This section clarifies that the ventilation system must operate such that spaces are ventilated in accordance with Section 6 during periods of expected occupancy. So, not necessarily 24 hours a day, just when the zone is expected to be occupied. And the standard requires an O&M manual be prepared for the owner, which among other information must include a list of inspection and maintenance activities at the frequencies listed in Table 8-1 of the standard. Here's an excerpt from that table listing just a few of the inspection and maintenance tasks. For example, at least once every quarter, you should check filters and replace them if necessary. And at least once a year, you should inspect drain pans and coils and clean them as needed. 